More good news for Pinto Lake Park and Santa Cruz area soccer players. One of the park's soccer pitches is getting some upgrades. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has our story from Watsonville. Azteca's youth soccer program has been in existence for nine years now. We've serviced easily over 250 kids. For the last three years, they've held a soccer camp at Pajaro Park. Angel Hernandez got into the program to pull himself out of a troubled life. Now he's helping others as a coach. I would always be in the streets. I would mostly never be home and then my mom would get mad. And now when I got in this program, she knows where I, I'm at. Soccer isn't just an outlet for those who want to stay out of trouble. For second grader Aureli Garcia, it's an opportunity to follow in the footsteps of her idol, Alex Morgan. My favorite player is Alex Morgan. My kindergarten teacher gave me a book and she's been my favorite player. Throw the cross, it's gonna find Dwyer who scores! And a the Azteca program also scored after the CONCACOF Gold Cup heard about what they've accomplished. They were looking all throughout the Bay Area and um, Santa Clara area for a program, a team or a club that was doing something that was significant and touching the lives of kids. And now Watsonville is one of seven U.S. cities which will receive upgrades to their soccer facilities. At Pinto Lake County Park, soccer field number one will receive a major facelift beginning July 23rd. A ribbon cutting will take place next Tuesday, July 25th. The public can look forward to movable goalposts, reseating for the turf, and new benches. It's furbishing the fields that we wouldn't typically have funds for. So, for instance, um, a bleacher installation and benches for um, one of the soccer fields out at Pinnell Lake could cost thousands of dollars. The Aztecas will also choose 15 local high school goalkeepers to participate in a clinic hosted by former U.S. national goalies Tony Miola and Brad Friedel, along with Mexico's Adolfo Rios. Reporting in Watsonville, Phil Gomez, KSBW Action News 8.